Stay in, Tom. Come on, man. Oh, the camera. <laughs> Checks know nothing at all about camera work. So can't you line up your fellas now, Tom, and he'll do the same for you. Mickey Hearn is down in front here and Big Jake Coyley. Off we go. Junior B Westerton, I know what final it is. A final that should have been played about 17 months ago. <laughs> Tom Doyle gave me a list here and I can't follow the teller. Fellas I never saw before. Neely Connors is out there anyway. He didn't see a ball in about 16 years. And he'd live as well he wouldn't see it. Dermot Coyley is there. Who's that? That's Dermot Coyley trying to pick it up. Will he pick it up? He won't pick it up. Number nine is there. Is that James Henley or Roy Henley? There are two Henleys in the middle of the field for Tala. That's Seamus Veal gone down there. The ball has gone out over the line. Michael Hearn is down here in front of me. He's urging his players on himself and Big Jake Coyley. I know what they're urging on because they can't urge themselves on. <laughs> Mickey Hearn is still sick because he got a big award during the week. He got a thousand pound. He's going to spend it over the... the <laughs> for after the match. There's a pub up the road, Mick. That's why you'll be after the match. Mick, don't forget some of that thousand pound now next week and cut his to us. Do you hear me? <laughs> anyway, we're going to take a line ball down there. Who's going to take it down there? Where do we see who it is? Brian Calvin. Brian Foggy Calvin. And he's going to lob it in and it's a mighty strike from Froggy in there. The cornerback is there, number four, John Murray. he got to stick to it. Who's the fullback? I can't see his number. That's Seamus Murray. 13 year old. No, it's the other fellow's 13 year old. That's number seven. That's David Doyle. He's the son of the boss man of the team. Now what's happening down below there? The ball has gone out under the bushes. Number four is going to take it. That's John Murray. He's a grandfather of 10 years, Tommy Doyle, is he? How many children have he, John? There are a lot of them with no names in them. <laughs> anyway, Kilrossen, doing all the pressing here, all the way to the cover. Pierre Hoyt, a winner of five senior championship football medals. Is he going to get the first goal for Kilrossen? A big swipe. Holly and all gone. Out to number eight, he's one of the Henleys. I don't know which one of the Henleys he is. There's the other Henley fella, that's number nine. Number 12 is there, Raymond Fling is there. Roger Power is there. That's young Henley, Henley in the middle of the field, sends it up, the ball seems to go behind, Froggy is there. Froggy cut the holly into Pierre White. Pierre White goes very low, it's very near the side for Pierre. Pierre likes the big ball, Colin D, the man with all the earrings. Here's Pierre White now, Pierre White is trying to do a kind of a, a Joe Dooley, but oh, there's a great score, is it? That's a mighty, no, barely White for Colin D. That was a lovely bit of a touch there for Colin D. Colin D has been called into the water panel for the Limerick game next year and the championship. I know what he's been called in for, though. It must be for eight in the feed afterwards. Number 12, number 11 is there. Billy Beans is there and Barry Power. They're all in there. Who's inside there? 
Jinx is there. That's Jinx Power. Number 14 is there. Tom Cows Cunningham. Whoever Cows Cunningham is, nobody knows. He's not James Tobin's Cows anyway. Big Doc is there. What's Big Doc trying to do? Is that Big Doc? You would not have these fellas with helmets on him. I don't think it's Doc. Tello is under uh, and uh, four minutes gone and Tello are in a bit of a rain. Roger Power left to slip through him. Brian Kevin is there. A good hold of Brian Kevin when he's on song. Eamon Ned fling. A man won a junior championship medal with Crossley last week. Eamon Ned. He'll drive it down to Mahan Bridge if he can get behind it. Number three is coming out there. Seamus Murphy. The 13 year old. I don't know what to put in the 13. There's Big Doc. All the way to St. Cale found. Lobs it in across the way. Seamus Veal is there. The man from Lemmy Bryan. The super mart man. Swigs or something they call that fellow down there, Davy Dial. He's the son of his father's. Somebody said here his father had 17 children. I don't know how true that is, though. There's Roger Power. Kilrasen, you have the better of the exchanges here, but that's no good if you haven't done the scoreboard. There's a good ball in there for Tala. Anybody's game here at the moment? Stephen Platt, Richie Platt's son, is he? Number 12. Here's Pat Keaton, one of the oldest members of the Kalasny team playing here today, and his brother Tom is in the, in the goal. That's Seamus Murray there. Kieran Keaton plays centre forward on the scene of football team. Now he's back, corner back. Who is number seven? Is that Froggy? Froggy's cleaning up everything that goes in there. Froggy, Brian Cavan, out to Roger Power. Roger Power with the face mask. You wouldn't know what all them headlights they have on him. They have more yokes around their face, you wouldn't know who they are. Neely Connors didn't get into the game at all. Who's that? Oh, Kevin Lundigan. God, I wouldn't know Kevin Lundigan with that joke around his head, that big shield, a big cage around his head. You wouldn't know half them fellas. Is that Richie Pat's son, uh, Eddie? No, no, no. Stephen Pratt, no? No. Oh, the Bears son. Not to the Stephen's Pratt here. A uh, uh, Stephen Pratt here on the Tallow team is known as the Bears son. Whoever the hell the Bear is, I don't know. Most of this Tallow team are known by nicknames. There's some nickname of a breeze coming in under this feckin' bush. And I came up to see a game, and they were doing a commentary on it. What I am anyway, it's just only a bit of a crack. How are you lads? Yeah, you know, we can't come down here because we're not insured. We might twist our leg on the way down. Anyway, what's happening here is Neely Connors going to make a raid and score a point. Neely got a run for the Wild under-21 team years ago, about 16 years ago. That'll make him 34 now. What's happening up there? Kieran Keaton and number 14, Tom Cowes Cunningham. Whoever Tom Cowes is, I don't know. Cows that's written, cows that's written down here. So Tom Dyle gave it to me. Cows, is it? Ah, where we come from, we're not about Irish. <laughs> Eat them and drink them and folly the people to mess. That's all we know. <laughs> anyway, what up and down there? We missed the line ball there. Doc Calvin, big Doc. What's he going to do with it? He thinks it's football he's playing. He's walking the shoe on it and he's doing a bit of shoving there. Neely Connors has it. Number six is over there. Dinny Martin. Who has it now? Froggy has it there. Kevin Lundigan. That's big Kevin. He didn't get to block it down there. Roger Power is there. Roger is going to lob it in. Into Seamus Veal. Seamus Veal is winning a lot of ball down there. Won a good ball there now. If Pierre White can get onto it. He's been followed by Henley there. It's gone out over the line, I'd say, down there. Anybody's game here. The tension is mighty. The crowd are rolling their head off here. Everyone is waiting for the first score. Chairman of the Western Board is down there to present whatever he's going to present, £100 of a cheque when the game is over. And everybody's going to head to the Pope, including me, Hern. And then we'll have never grow old for the rest of the evening. <laughs> is that the first score for Kilwas? Indeed, looks it. Yes, it's a good score. That's a good score for Froggy Calvin. The first score after six or seven minutes of play. Like I said, it's the final of the Junior Holland League, and I see Tom Dyle is after making his way all across down below. That's the far out for the. Anyway, we'll follow the puck out. Billy Beans. Billy Beans is a Big Dammit is there. Big Dammit. He's, his father is one of the selectors on the team. Seamus Veal. Seamus Veal, like I said, is playing well below there in the corner. He's winning a lot of ball down there. Doing well, very well below there in the corner. And this must be a, 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 a handy free for. Neely, Neely, Neely Connors, Neely Jimmy Connors, as we call him. Don't lose it now, Neely, because I think we've only one ball. Just drop it over. Don't drive it out in the road. Oh, he didn't even drop it over. He must have helped me. Number six is coming out. Dinny Martin has a good clearance from Dinny. Froggy Cavan is there. Pat Keaton is there. 
the 46 year old all the way from the top of the Cumras number 8 is there Henley is there Jimmy Connors is there again or Neely down to Seamus Veal like I said Seamus Veal is winning a lot of ball down there Pierre White can't pick it up if it's football he'd pick it up Big Doc is there what'll Big Doc do with it he'll bring it home first and then he'll hit it Seamus Veal wasn't ready for that one that's a 65 in my reckoning yes that's a 65 and John Coyley says Froggy's going to take this he's calling up Froggy to take it or is it Kevin Lundigan I know Froggy's standing abroad waiting for it Froggy should put this one over. Capable of putting it over, but will he put it over? We'll only have to wait and see. Where's the ball? Did he get the ball even yet? I think we've only one ball here by the looks of things. We could be in trouble. We might have to use John Coyley's other one. <laughs> if we lose the balls out in the field, what will happen? Ten minutes of play gone. Kilrassendine are running to a one-point lead. What will Froggy do with this one? He'd want to allow for the wind. I see Mick Hedden is after making his way off over to the far off side of the field over his order with Michael Baldwin. Here comes Froggy. It's high enough anyhow, and the wind, I think, is going to pull it. Way off down near Paddy Fitzgerald's care. Go away and get the ball, lads, because we mightn't have another one. Oh, we have. We'll have to get another one. Puck out anyway. Let me see who's the goalkeeper. Benny or Blinny O'Brien. Blinny O'Brien or Benny O'Brien. Looks like a man will be able to drink a lot of large bottles. Kevin Lundigan wins a good ball there. What's he going to do with it? He'll give it in along the ground. Colin D, a lovely touch in Colin D. Down to Seamus Veal and Pierre White. Winning a lot of ball there, but can't make any use of it. Seamus Veal and Pierre White, what are they going to do? Neely Connors is there. Neely puts a good one in, is it? No, oh, barely wide. That was a quick ball in from Neely Connors. A good ball in from Neely Connors. Here comes the puck out again anyway. Benny O'Brien, a good high ball. Who's going to lob between? Beans, Billy Beans. Is that the Beans fella? Number 11, yes, number 11, Billy Beans. Doc Kevin wins it again. Doc Kevin looked to be foul, Jess. His leg was caught there. From the same exact position, Brian Kevin is going to take this. He missed the last one. He hit it up into the sky. He must be thinking of half seven mess in Colossal Day tonight. He sent it up into our Lord. Anyhow, what'll he do with this one? He should, be, he should be able to score this one. My God, he must have helped me again. He didn't even hit it, never mind score. Number three is coming out for the Seamus Murphy. I wonder if he ended to Pat Murphy. Kevin Lundigan is there. What's Kevin trying to do with it? He's trying to flick it away. Now he'll pick it up. He'll hit it sometime this evening, anyway. Neely Connors was. Neely Connors couldn't win it there of a Dinny Martin. Oh, Brian Kerbar. Doc is there. Big Doc is there. The Tala fella missed it. Number six, Dinny Martin. Kieran is there, Jinx is there, the Colonel Forward is there, he's one of the Murrays. I'm McGrath, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's coming down, Big Doc is there. If Big Doc can hit it, he'll drive it. Brian Kelvin, the man that got the score, is there. It's a good one in for Seamus Veal and Pierre White, are any of them there? None of them is there. Only a Tala Jazz has been broken down, Colin D is there. Dan McKiley is there, he's no one to be beat now, if he can only get it up. Jimmy Connors are there. Neely Jimmy. Out to Dermot. Dermot should flick it across the square. Pull it at Dermot if you have any sense. Colin D is there. He wasn't alert for it though. Kevin Lundigan. Out to Kevin Lundigan. What will Kevin do with it? He'll flog it in. It's a good one, but the wind is going to pull it. It's gone about 17 yards wide. He had plenty of distance, but where did it end up? There's somebody running down for that ball, I'd say. They'll need it before the game is over. Benny O'Brien comes with a good puck out. Out to Froggy, Roger Power is there. Number 11 is there, Billy Beans. They're all down on the ground. James is there, James Murray is there, or James Henley. He's heading in, Kieran is coming out. Is Kieran there? Was Kieran alert for it? He was. Lewis, it looks like to be free in. Number 6, Roger Power fouled him. That's one of the Henleys there. This should make it even Stephen, as we say. Number 11 is going to take it, Billy Beans. <sighs> Bachelor's Beans is going to take it. Will he put it over the bear? I hope he don't drive it out in the field. Yes, it looks a good one. Is it? Or is it wide? Yes, it's a pint. And the ball has gone through the trees out into the next field. Somebody might be able to get it. Anyway, a pint apiece with about 13, 12 minutes gone. Nothing to shout about, but sure, that's the way in the month of November, I suppose. What do you expect in the month of November? And conditions are not too bad here. The field is fairly dry. It's a good solid field. Anyway, the puck out from Tom Keaton, almost 50 years of age. 
Brian Kevin is there. What will Brian do with it? He'll pick it up. Not on his left side. He's not going to hit it on his left. It's a good one on his right. Into Seamus Field if he's there. Peary White put up a head, but Colin D pulled on it. Oh, Colin nearly made his name there. Oh, Pat Hayes. God, I thought it was Colin D. Oh, it was Pat Hayes. I wouldn't know with them helmets. Oh, yeah, Colin D have no hair. Sure, I should have known the difference. That was Pat Hayes. Now Neely Connors is under it. If Neely can strike it, he'll drive it over the bar. No, it's going to lob in. And he went inside. Only Seamus Veal, he doubled it, but he didn't connect. The goalkeeper comes out with it. That's O'Brien, the goalkeeper. And now it's starting to rain. Brian Cavan is down under it. Cousins of Doc. And seven Doc is down there. One first cousin to the other one. What'll Big Doc do with it? He couldn't even hit it. Never mind, put it over the bar. Pierre White is under it. Pierre White is causing all sorts of problems in here. Neely Connors, if he'll hit it, he'll put it over. Yes, it looks a good one for Neely Connors. Neely Connors, two points to one in favour of Kilrossenty. Neely Connors, like I said, probably one of the best hurlers Kilrossenty had at underage level. Here comes the puck out anyway, it's a quick puck out, out to Dermot Kiley. Dermot Kiley and Henley. There's Dermot. What will Dermot do with it? Neely Connors' his man, he didn't win it. His man won it, no, none of them won it. Number five won it there, that's uh, Mossy McGrath. Massey McGuire, who is this? This Roger Power, oh, it's Kevin Lundigan, into Colin D. The man with no hair, a good ball for Colin D. Is Seamus Veal there? Yes, Peary White is there, and Peary White has it in his hand. Peary can't hold it. He can do a lot of things with it, but he can't hold it. He's going to kick it wide. You see, it's across the goal. It's a 65. I thought it was wide, but somebody must have got a hold to it. He's after missing two already. Will he put this one over? He's coming closer to this side every time. The wind is still as strong. He should be able to put this one over. Two points to one, and when we see how is the time? Five, ten, almost fifteen minutes gone. Froggy is looking for a bit of grass. How would you get grass in the month of November? Dig a sod, dig a hole, and put your toe under it, Froggy. Anyway, here he comes. Will he put it over the bell? Like I said, two points to one is the score. He ran off his stick. That looks a good one. Is it tailing? It's tailing. It's tailing. He had the distance. It's gone out the road. Goal. And it's heading for the pub. The ball. Gone out the gate. Heading for the pub. And there's two pubs in knocking over. There's one of them up the road. And the other one is down the road. Anyway, here comes Benny with a puck out. Benny O'Brien. It's getting kind of dark down there. Froggy is under it. Brian Calvin, better known as Froggy. Taps it up to Big Dermot. Dermot will hit it on the ground. On the ground. Number nine is there. Henley is there. This fella looks to be a handy little bit of a holler. Who's there? Pat Keaton is there. The 46-year-old, 52-year-old. I don't know what age he is. Ned Eamon Fling is there. Neely Connell's under it. No, he doesn't. Henley gets a holly to it. And number six. No, that's Dinny Martin. Dinny Martin. Pat Keaton is there again. Pat will try and kick it if he can't hit it. Yes, he kicks it out to Eamon Fling. Eamon Fling wasn't ready for it. There's Eamon. What's Eamon going to do with it now? Is it going to go over the line? Yes, Eamon, I think, brought it out. I'd say it's a teller ball, is it? Looks like to be a teller ball. It's gone out of my view here. I better not get in the way of the camera, but it looks like to be gone out, is it? Who's going to take it? Yes, it's a teller ball. I can't see who's going to take it. Number 10 is going to take it. Barry Power, is it? Number 9 is going to take it. Henley is going to take it. One of the Henleys. That's a great teller name, Henley. Anyway, we'll we see what he's going to do. I'll have to bend down. I can't see from where I am. But there's a big bush in my way. Oh, he missed it. Name and fling is coming out. He got a holly to it. The other Henley is there. They're all there. Kevin Lundigan is there. There's the other Henley fella in. Who's coming out with it? Roger Power is coming out with it. Colin D will have to beat two of them if he's going to win this one. Number 10 is there. Barry Power is there. Who's that fella? He's a big heavy fella anyway. Oh, John Michael Kelly, the referee, says it's a free-in. Who was the culprit there? Was it Eamon Fling or was it Roger Power? It wasn't Jinx anyway. Jinx is well inside. Number 11 is going to take it. Billy Beans. Will this make it a level pegging, will it? Like I said, it's two pints to one. Will it be two pints apiece? Yes. Two pints apiece. A well-struck ball. Ball gone out in the field, but they have another one above there. 17, 15, 16, 17 minutes maybe gone. Two pints apiece. Who's going to get the first goal? Whoever will get a goal might win it. You'd never know. Here comes Jinx with a puck out. Kind of half struck it. Didn't get the right gist into it, as, we, as they say. Eamon Fling is there. They're all they're pulling in there. They're all in there. A whole load of fellas there. Number three is there. Seamus Murray. He seems to be a long ways up. Is he have to switch? There's a switch on the Tallow team. The fullback is after coming. Oh, no, he's number 13. I'm wrong now. That's Tinny White Pearl McGrath. And there's Billy Beans. My God, there's such nicknames on this Tallow team. 
There's white pedals and there's dinny cows and there's there's every kind of a thing here. Anyway, here comes Pat Keat. Now he missed it. Who's that? That's Roger. Roger missed it again. Is that a goal coming up for Tallow? They're all pulling it over there. Billy Beans is there. Is he going to put Tallow into the lead? It looks like it. Tallow gone into a one-point lead. Three points to two. Billy Beans. Bachelor's Beans. Bachelor's Beans put it over. Anyway, here comes the pug out from Tom Keaton. Who's going to win it? Will Neely Connors win it? Nearly tapped it back. Nearly should have done better with it at that time. Number six has it. Dinny Martin. Oh my God, there's a gale force wind here. I'm perished. Froggy is there. Froggy lob it into the square. Well, nearly into the square. He didn't. Peary Hoyt is under it. Can't hold it. Number three is there. Seamus Murray is there. Out comes the centre back. Out comes Henley. Henley will drive it up. Oh, a good hurler, this fella. In between Jinx and the full forward. And that's Tom Carr's Cunningham. A cow's Cunningham. I don't know what he is. Cow's Cunningham. He could be bull cows for all we know. Eamon Fling is there. Ned Fling, the Mahan Bridge man is there. Here comes Pat Hayes. Footballer, come holler. Nobody on number four. John Murray. What will he do with it? He'll lob it into the square. Pat Keaton is there. There looks like to be a bit of pushing and fouling going on there. And as Pat was falling, he cut the ball. Very few people can do that. Roger Power is there. Up to Peary White. Is Peary White going to get it this time? They're all on it there. Pat Hayes is there. Pat has it. Pat is going to give a good ball across to Neely Connors, but Neely Connors failed to get to it. Kevin Lundigan has it. Will Kevin get it into his hand? He's going to be hooked. He's going to give it out to Brian Kevin. Brian Kevin called for it, and he wasn't really ready for it. Big Doc is there. Neely is there. There's nobody there. Only the Talaman is coming out with it. There's Neely now. He's a big sod. The ball went nowhere. The ball is dumbfounded in the middle of the field. There's Colin D. Nobody on Colin D. Colin D put down the Holly and missed it. And Henley comes in and clears a good ball up the field. Pat Keaton is there. He's not there. Billy Beans is there. The man that got the equaliser a few minutes ago. Dangerous ball inside for Tom Keaton. Is it a goal? No. Tom got a stick to it. Who's there? His son Kiran is there. Kiran made a hames of that one. He should have left it to the other fellow. Oh, it's danger in. Is Jinx there? Is the whistle gone? It's not. Jinx is going to clear a good ball out. No one on Billy Beans. Who's on Billy Beans? It should be Roger, is it? Kiran is coming out. There's Roger now. Roger keeps it up along the wing. Big Doc is there. Will Big Doc get it, though? What will Big Doc do? He'll give it across to Neely Connors. Neely Connors is up into the sky. Neely can't get any length into his freeze at all. Or his shots at all. Who's there? Seamus Veal is there. Peary White is there. Pat Hayes is there. There's Peary White now. Peary can do anything but will pick it up. He can hit it and he can pull it, but he can't pick it up. Colin D is here. Colin D, the ball is coming out. Kilrasnid, he's the position there, but they couldn't just get it in. Very near the line ball here. Number 10 is there. Billy, Barry Power. That's Barry Power. There's Henley. Kevin Lundigan is there. Ned Fling is there. Nobody going anyhow with the ball. Brian Calvin. Brian missed it. Lipped out over the ball. It's going to land inside for the full forward. Tom Carr's Cunningham. Jinx is coming out. He's no car. Ned Fling has it. Ned Fling is going to sidestep his man and he's going to give it out to Kevin Lundigan. Kevin Lundigan will drive it. That's a great ball. He's going to land inside for Seamus Veal. Is Seamus Veal there? No, the goalkeeper lets it fall. Is he going to bring it out for a 65? Yes. The umpire we got, Seamus Veal, is playing very well below in that corner. Causing all sorts of problems any time the ball goes in there. I think he's calling somebody else out to take it. Kevin Lundigan is going to take it. It looks like it. It looks like Kevin Lundigan has taken this one. Yes, it is. Kevin is going to take it. With about 18 minutes, 19, maybe 20 minutes gone. That's a good one for Kevin Lundigan. He's going to land inside. Is there a hole you have to connect it onto it? Is it another 65? No, the one pass says it's wide with Pat Hayes. Pat Hayes is contesting it in there. He said, no, it came off a teleman, but sure, the referee is not listed. Anyway, here's the poke out for Benny O'Brien. Brian Kevin is there. Brian got a holly to it. He didn't win it. Number 12 got a holly to it. Barry Power got a holly to it. Ned Fling is playing well down the corner on the wing. Number 5. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? It's going to go. It's not. Davy Dial is there. Davy. His father has something to do with this team. What's after happening now? The referee says from where the ball lands. No. He's given a free to tell him anyway. And Henley is going to take it. Three points to two. Barry White is coming out, and I think they're telling Neely Connors to win full forward. Barry White is coming out centre forward, and Neely Connors has been told to win. 
Was that a score? Yes, I didn't see who took the free. What are them anyway? That puts Tallow into a four-point. Dinny O'Brien sent the forward. Oh no, that's Billy Beans. Dinny O'Brien that scored it. Here we are anyway, we're back in the play. Four points to two in favour of Talon. Tom Keaton pucks it out. Out into the middle of the field. Kevin London goes up for it and grabs it. Into his chest. There's Neely Connors now. He's gone in full forward there with a second. Couldn't control the ball. The full back comes out there. Seamus Murray. Colin D has gone down wing forward now. He was playing right half. But he's gone over on the other wing now. Where's Doc Calvin? Doc Calvin should be there. There's Brian Calvin. Kilosny team are playing all in different positions now from when they lined out. Kevin Lundigan's man is there and wins it. He doesn't. Kevin Lundigan wins it back off of Henley. Yes, Kevin Lundigan lobs it in. It's Seamus Veal there. Seamus Veal just couldn't hold it in his hand. Till Seamus Murray held it in his hand. Though. Out to Henley. It's a good hull of this fella. Probably the best hull on the field today. Here comes Jinx out. Jinx missed it. Oh, danger for Kilrasny. Jinx missed that one. It's heading in. Roger Power is there. Jinx is still... Jinx recovered well and clears the good ball. Down to Brian Calvin. What will Brian do with it? He'll lob it in low. Neely Connors is there. Can Neely control it this time? Neely will turn and... Wide. Neely had a day and he put that one over. But it did not to be today, he said. Well, we see how is the time. There are about five, four minutes left in the first half, roughly. Four to five minutes left, maybe. And we're perished with the cold up here. Anyway, the puck out is here. Dermot Kiley is under it. Henley is here. Best hollow tell I have today, this fella. He's playing very well here. The lad with the blue, blue knicker box. Billy Beans. Bachelor's Beans have it. There's a dangerous ball in Kieran, Caton and Jinx. Where's Kieran? Kieran is there. Corner back is there. The full forward is there. Is it a goal for Tom Keaton? Saves the hay from side for Kilrasny. Kicks it out. Out to Henley. The other Henley is there. He's turning in. James is going in with it. Kevin Lundigan is there. It's nearly dark here. It's nearly hard to see him at this stage. Peary White, the centre forward, gets it. Gets a holiday to it. Can Peary pick it up? Peary can win a lot of ball, but can pick it up. Yes, he picked this one up. He lobs it in along. Nobody in there. Pat Hayes is there. Murray is there. Murphy is there. Neely Connors is there. Neely has it in his hand. Will he put it over the bar? If he can make distance. He's heading for a goal. No, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Good, good, good save by Benny O'Brien. Out to Peary White. Peary is under it. Will Peary go for a score? Peary couldn't hit it right. Into the full back. Seamus Murray. Down to Colin D. Kevin Lundigan is there. Kevin playing well for Kilosny in the middle of the field. Problem with Kilosny is they can't get any distance any of their shots. They can only barely hit him. Peary White's man is there, number, Peary got a holiday to it, Dermot Coyley is there, they're all swinging, Colin D is there, there's a dangerous ball in between Jinx and his man, Jinx is under it, he has Jinx it in his hand, he has it in his holiday, he's coming out, he throws it up, it's danger in there, number 15 is there, Joe Murray, the referee says it's uh, free out, free out, free out, the referee says somebody must him in the square. It will be dark in the second half. I can only barely see what's happening here now. From where I am anyway. How are we going for time? What time is the match on tomorrow, Brian? Where? In Clannay, is it? On the 14 match in the morning. Kilrasny in a county final against Mount Sign. In Clannay at Havilland. Free in. Yes, yes. Henley. Is that Henley? Deemed to have foul. Oh, it's number five. That's Davy Dial. Deemed to have foul. Oh, no. Number, number. It's Matthew McGrath. He's deemed to have foul. Brian Calvin. Brian Calvin should score this one. Well within his capabilities. He should put this one over the bar. He'll certainly be able to drive it, but he might drive it wide, though. That's the problem, too. Well, we see what he'll do with it. Yes, it's a good one. It's a good one for Brian Calvin. So that makes the score three points to four in favour of Tallard. Four points to three. The other way around. A bad puck out. Out to number six. Dinny Martin. Dinny drives a good ball up the field. Who's under? Roger Power is there. Roger will dance out and drive it. He'll give it a hand pass to Kevin Lundigan. Kevin Lundigan sends a great ball in. Is there anybody inside in it? That was a great ball. Nobody inside. Pat Hayes should have been inside. Pat Hayes was out too far. Pat Hayes should be inside for that one. Anyway, here comes the puck out. A good puck out.